Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves uh, that are all on this journey to reunite with our twins in this lifetime. And um, so I do channeled letters, and uh, and then these books are the letters that I've channeled for people between their twins and their higher selves. And uh, somebody's asked me to, re well, a couple of people have asked me to read out different letters. So one is uh, letter 14. And then another is 68 and 86. So 14, 68 and 86. So these are all messages from people's twins. Higher selves, right? The other question that I get a lot is, is this what he's consciously thinking? And this is when I'm, so basically this is from their soul. This is when I'm tapping into the energy and basically when I tap into them and I ask them what do they want to say to you, I just hear it and I write it down and then I send it to you on a photo. And uh, so it's very much around what is in their superconscious or their soul or, you know, the, their energy field. So letter 14 is this. That I need to know... Oh, hang on. No, that's letter 16. I wonder if somebody wanted 16, probably. Okay, so letter 14. My darling love the love of my life, the life force that flows through me and makes me who I am, who I want to be, who I know I can be with you beside me. I want more than anything for us to be together, to share each other's lives, to share each other's bed, to wake up next to each other and see your face and your smile as the first and everything I see every day for the rest of our lives together. You are the reason that we are here you are the reason that my heart beats. My heart is only yours, and I feel you in my heart, see you in my mind, and desire you with every part of my mind, body, and soul. Okay, I've just remembered that it's solstice today, so happy solstice, winter solstice day. So letter 68 is this. I want to say, wow, just wow. You are sensational in every way, like an explosion to my senses, a piece of dynamite going off in my heart to wake me up. And wake me up you did, like every part of me blew open into tiny fragments and I had to piece myself together to realise what had happened. I needed that. I needed you to come into my life and literally blow me up and give me the biggest lesson of my life. And that lesson is that I do have a heart, that I do want to give myself 110% completely to someone, to you. I don't want to live in a behind a glass box, never letting anyone truly in. Where is the fun in living your life in a box? I'm sick of that. I want to break free. And you showed me that that's possible. I'm breaking out to be with you. You are my freedom, my little bird of freedom. Thank you. That is so cute. Okay, so two days ago, I was talking about the, the dinosaur who lives in his own ice cage. So lives in his own box and wants to be broken free. And here it is. So this is what is so, this is really truly what is so lovely because this is from another lady requesting this particular letter, right, to be read out. Now, of all of these, there must be 600 or something letters here, and this is the one that refers to, I want to come out of the glass box. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, the synchronicities are just kind of like, it just amazes me, it really does. It's just quite gorgeous, you know, it's just gorgeous. So, 86. I want you to know that you've always touched the very heart of me. You've always been able to have this amazing talent of just knowing the right thing to say to make me feel 100% loved and 100% complete. I want you to know that my desire to be with you is so great. I dream about our life together. I dream about spending every day with you. Just doing normal things with you seems exciting. You excite me. And thinking about you brings me back to being me again. I feel like I've lost who I am over the years. I want to come back home. I want so desperately to be with you, in your arms, in your presence, day and night. 
I love you. Okay, so that is just so nice how it totally links back to the message from yesterday, I think. Just amazing. Uh, so letter 14 from book two. I absolutely love every cell of your divine, beautiful body. I cannot wait for us to be lying with each other, touching each other, bathing together, taking care of each other, tenderly kissing each other, and loving each other with all the beauty, devotion, and tenderness that our love brings. It's out of this world. It's beyond exquisite. It's purely divine in every way. The warm feeling of being held in each other's arms and the knowing that there's nowhere else we'd rather be. That in that moment, the world around us could stop because we are each other's world, each other's universe, each other's everything. There is nothing I want more than to be with you, all of you, every day, every second, for eternity. Okay, so I just want to be bathing together, which is so cute. Okay, letter 68. So, so, so many things. I don't even know where to start or how to start. No words can really describe this whole experience and what meeting you has done to me and literally turned my life upside down. And so I don't know whether I'm coming or going. The one thing I do know is that all roads keep leading me back to you, no matter where I go or how far I go or what I do. I cannot get you out of my head. I have never felt like this about anyone. You are the only woman that has had such a powerful impact on me, on my soul, on the very mechanics of what makes me tick. I've had to question everything and all answers all lead back to you. You are my soul, you are my light, you are the love of my life. Oh, so, you know, just all of these letters just lead to that thing about a heart, a heart awakening more and more and more to their soul. And that's what we're doing, you know, with, you know, the winter solstice, every full moon, every new moon, you know, we're just lifting our energies more and more and more and opening up to a, a living a heart centered life. And of course, the more that you live in your heart, the more that you listen to your heart, the more that your twin will naturally do the same because basically you're melting your own ice cage, right? You both, if you think of your base of you in a block, in an ice block, and the more that you live from your heart, it just melts it gradually, gradually, gradually for the both of you. So I think um, Emily from Twins in Union, um, she's just done, uh, it just came up as a notification for me. Um, she, she is somebody that also reads, um, she reads the letters from the books at the, I think she might do in this read, I'm not sure, but go check her read out because she is also very much in tune with, um, these messages. So twins in union, Emily, go and check that out. So letter 86. What were you thinking and why would you do that? Before we even have the chance to come together in our bodies to enjoy, to enjoy and experience the bliss, the ecstasy, the joy of being in our sacred sexual union. I just don't understand why you don't go into your heart, deep, deep within. Call out to me to help you because I am here. Reach out and put your hands in mine. Clasp your hands to your heart and breathe me in. In those times when you feel there is nothing left, know that it is the exact opposite. It is worth fighting for. It is everything that we came here for. It is love. Don't let the dark take hold. Asked to be taken to the light. Now, I actually remember that letter. And that the lady that um, requested that letter was having a really difficult time. And um, so that's why her twin was saying to her, why would you even do that? And why would you even think that? Just, just go into your heart and listen to me. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so 14. There's a bell ringing in my heart. And just like a church bell, when it chimes, the sound is getting louder and louder. It tingles in my soul, reverberates through my being and it rings out your name. 
I just don't know how all of us is going to happen and how I'm going to make it happen. I know that in my heart of hearts, I want you. I want to be able to love you with no barriers, with no fears. I don't want to hold any of me back. I want to be 100% there for you, for us, for us to share our beautiful love and hearts with each other, to be in peace, love and harmony. Okay, so again, again, I was referencing the barrier <laughs> the other day because there was a story on the radio about a guy who fell in love. Um, she broke his heart. He said that he put up this huge barrier and he'd live behind the barrier for the rest of his life. And I was saying that's exactly what we're doing. Don't ever underestimate the amount of of time and constant like compassion and never giving up that it takes to really get through someone's barrier if they've been deeply hurt and affected in the past. And of course, what that's what we're doing. We're taking a big collective piece of that barrier, you know. Um, so it's not just your barrier, it's like your twins and, and your past lives and your collective piece of the pie that you're taking um, because you're part of a bigger picture and you're part of the whole divine plan to bring love to the planet. So don't forget that you're taking a big piece of that big piece of fear-based energies and transmuting them into love. And so... It's not just an individual thing. It's not, it, you have to lift yourself up out of your own individual dynamic and to see the whole picture and to realize that you're doing it as a whole and as a collective. So, uh, letter 68. Hello, I've been wanting to tell you that I love you for a while. Our connection drops in and out and I can feel it super strong sometimes, but then it goes dead and it leaves me feeling a little dumbstruck and bereft because I just started trusting that I was always going to feel you. And then it frightens me that you've gone, and when am I going to get you back? Please help me to come back to you by staying in your heart. Stay with me, baby. We are each other's lighthouse. When the sea is dark and stormy, we are the only ones that can bring each other home. Our home. Oh, my God. So yesterday on the radio again, the message yesterday was stay with me. And that letter also references about saying stay with me. Really quickly, the radio um, story yesterday was a guy, he was dying of cancer. His son was helping him do a bucket list. The bucket list was that he had written a song and um, 30 years ago and he wanted to have that played on the radio. They played it on the radio for him and the song that it was was Stay. And it was talking about um, how he wanted to, the love of his life to stay with him. So again, just all of this emotional outpouring uh, that he basically kept inside for 30 years. And part of his bucket list was to have that let out. And so they played it on the radio for him and it was amazing. So another message from the universe to say dreams really do come true. Okay, so this is the last letter, 86. There's a million and one things that I'd like to tell you. How the hair falls on the back of your neck and how I want to be able to tickle your nose every day and pinch it between your fingers. I want to be with you when you wake up in the morning. I want us to be the last thing we go to sleep with and the first thing we wake up to. I want us to be each other's everything in between. I want us to grow old together, to experience life together, to be each other's world. You mean the world to me. You light me up like a big old nuclear power station. There's nothing that can stop us. Okay, so what really strikes me about that is the very first letter that I read out and this last letter, it's like two bookends either side. They had the same message, very similar message about I want you to be my everything. I want to wake up with you. I want to go to sleep with you. I want you to be the first thing that I see in the morning. And so that's the message. The top and tail of the messages, they want you in the morning and they want to see you in the evening and they want you to be there, everything in between. So there you go. Gorgeous messages today. Happy winter solstice. Okay, take care. Bye.